Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Devs Kingdom. In today's video, we're going to talk about OpenThinker 32B model from OpenDocs community. So what's special about the OpenThinker 32B model? It is a fine-tuned version of the Kubeon 2.5 32B instruct and only OpenThoughts 11 4K dataset. Um, so there's a comparison between the DeepSeq R1 Kubeon 32B and also the OpenThinker 32B version. You can see that uh, the OpenThinker 32B version outperforms the DeepSeq version on Math 500 and on the GBQA benchmarks. For all the other benchmarks, they're roughly the same, which seems to be great. For the OpenThinker 32B, you can see also their open widths, open data, and open code. So, which is awesome, and they're on the Apache 2.0 license, so you can really use it uh, for uh, almost any project. For the open code, just go to the GitHub. They have everything documented pretty well. They also have a comparison for OpenThinker 7B as well. So, um, in this tutorial, we're going to test the model on Open Web UI with VLLM, and also we're going to test everything, uh, especially for the coding capabilities on Ader. So that being said, let's continue. If you want to set up the VLM, so search for the channel for VLM, you should be able to set it up. And to load the model, I will use the Bartowski Open Thoughts Open Thinker 32B 4-bit uh, quantized version of GGUF. And we use the tokenizer from the offshore repo. And we basically set the model size length to 8192. Uh, this is for Ader. So if you want to uh, use climb, you might have to tweak the other params as well. So um, you also need to rename the model probably uh, so that you have a better naming um, when you use for other clients. So for this one, we name it, just use the open thoughts, open thinker 32B and Q4 0. So that should be it. This is for the LLM side of it. And we also have to set up open web UI. So if you do not know how to set up open web UI, just search for open web UI in this channel. There's also plenty of tutorials to set it up on Kaggle. Um, so we will skip this session uh, on this demo. So um, just make sure that um, you set up ungrok and point everything to the 8080 port or whatever port you prefer and uh, just start the open web UI uh, using the backend start.sh or you can use the official way to set it up um, which is to uh, install the open web UI uh, package and do an open web UI serve. That should be it. So you probably don't need to set up the uh, search backend. Um, so just for uh, a note then uh, we already set it up so you can see we actually tested a few samples so we tested the how many a letters in the word alibaba so it turns out to be a correct answer so there's three letters you can see here and we also tested the um other uh, math questions like sarah has 20 she buys a book for seven dollars and how much money does she have left and you can see after a lot of reasoning they also got the correct answer so which is sour has 13 left this is correct um, then we tested another question which is to solve the following problem if a train travels at 60 miles for 2.5 hours then increases speed to 75 miles for the next 1.5 hours what's the total distance traveled you can see there's a lot of reasoning and also they got the right answer which is 262.5 miles so this is correct and there is another issue with the open web UI if you have uh, issues with the uh, reasoning uh, thinking uh, feature. Uh, so that mean is that you can see from the uh, answer here, there's no thinking, right? So because there's a reasoning model and somehow the open web UI has issue with that. If you have this problem, then you might need to update the system prompt. So go to settings. You have to update the system prompt similar to this one. So I have this in the Discord channel. So you can join the channel to get the prompt. So basically, you have to change the response to have add a think uh, tag. So that should be it. And 
basically you can see from the other changes we made so now you can see the thinking feature right instead of just uh, a plan text it can have the thinking feature so that's the change you might have have if you want this feature and you can see the model actually answered everything correctly it's just a little bit overthinking but it still got the answers correctly so that is good um let's go to the coding so if you go to edx um, you can see that we actually tested also the coding capabilities actually it is good um, when you use the open thinker 32b as a planning model so if you want to know how to um, use planning model and action model um, which is the hybrid model stack then go to the um, channel and search for hybrid model or to search for hybrid you should be get the video um, so it's the one that i'm showing here it's deep seek r1 command third to be the free hybrid ai coder so check out this video so you're able to see how to use hybrid models in Ader. Uh you can actually get way better results so in this demo we actually tested uh, using the open thoughts as a planning model and use the grog qn 2.5 b as a editor model so basically the open thoughts open thinker model will do the planning or the generate the better prompt the qn 2.5 b will do the execution which is the action so as you can see here um we try to use these hybrid models to create a landing page for a crypto trading company so the landing page should have five sections header hero banner market real-time trending uh, diagram and product features and contact us uh, so this landing page should be slick and modern please use inline html cssjs and create an index html file for this page and the open thoughts model can have a really good planning as you can see here so the plan is very good the code changes is good as well and then you pass the prompt to the uh, grok q1 2.5 b and the q1 model will generate the final response as you can see here and after uh, everything is done you can see the index file is also generated so we can copy this to the html uh, editor you can see the page is pretty good so how do you know it is pretty good uh, you can actually use the same prompt uh, copy the same prompt and paste it in the uh, grog q1 2.5 b auto and then here's the response without open dots uh, planning phase so you can copy this and also paste it into the HTML editor as well and you can see that without open thoughts planning the result is way less um, ideal right so then you can actually see that the open thoughts as of recently and planning model it is very good and especially when you combine uh, this open thoughts model with other models together as you can see here we basically combine two models together uh, to help to build the project and the result is pretty good so that being said hopefully this is helpful and if you do like this video please subscribe like or comment if you have any questions thank you so much for supporting the channel and see you in the next one